weighing in at a whopping 175 and stale champ of toasting brother how Tim what's up y'all yep I'm about at 175 about two weeks out from that fast already and got my thumb back up to my fighting weight you know what I'm saying um, I start putting on shirts again every now and then I'm gonna come out you know I gotta shape up now I gotta get it shaped up but y'all got to excuse the light man once again I gotta come from my phone because the light in the room is terrible so now a story right here we go <sighs> my daughters looked up one day and said daddy you know we got a ceiling fan like our grandma can you turn on the ceiling fan so I try to turn on the damn ceiling fan now we've been here almost two years I never turned on the ceiling fan so I turned on the ceiling fan right and the damn thing don't work so I called maintenance to come out and fix the ceiling fan maintenance come and fix the ceiling fan and then replace the light with this little let me show you I, 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 Look at that. Look at that shit. I go from no ceiling fan and four lights to a working ceiling fan and, and a little teeny weeny light bulb. What kind of fucking sense does that make? Right. right. So y'all gonna to deal with the light for, for a little while. I'm about to complain about this shit here. Let me get my glasses and we'll get our toast on. So, got the spring water. We're going to use the lemon lime and it look like my wife been in there. So, we're not going to do lemon lime because I like, I like for it to have some personality when I open it. So, we're going to take the last little bit of that death eater. Got a little scoby going up in there too. So, it's pretty active. Um, make us a smoothie. Just waiting for some of y'all to check in. Got some spinach. started fam. Alright, well we already started officially, but y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. So um today is at least in Columbus, it's the first day of the comedic new year. So there will be some events going on for the next five days. Um on this Saturday we will be hosting um, the Committed New Year at Millennium Community School on Kaumba. I guess we're gonna be there all day, right? So, all right, let's get this let's get this stuff ready for the smoothie. Last few blueberries. Be slumming soon. Right. 
So, what's up? What's up, brother Kwame? Uh, I don't know how to how to do it, you know, because I'm new at this. But happy comedic new year, man. Uh, you know, I think this is the beginning of the cycle. Uh, do you know what year it is as far as the comedic calendar? Can you share that with us? Um, so, I have some spring water. Now, beware of all spring water that say spring water, but it don't tell you where the spring at. This is Kroger. So, I guess Kroger got a spring. Uh, carbon filtered, ozonated for purity. Mm. Where the damn spring at, Kroger? Alright. I was in a hurry. I'm slumming, guys. I'm slumming. All right, so let's go and get let's get our drink on. Let's get our water on. Uh, so, once again, like I was telling you, we got the uh, comedic New Year celebration coming on. Today is Ujima, and we it will be at oh a public library. Uh, is it driving park? Library today to start off. Um, let me get my information. I just know how to get to the library, you know. So we gonna we gonna go and celebrate it. Get it popped off. Remember, we have Brother Wakesa coming into town on the eleventh. Um, for uh, uh, first off, we're coming to uh, work with the teachers of Millennium Community School, but then we're gonna have a free uh, a free workshop on Friday evening. Injected racial scripts, counting the instructional design of racism and anti-blackness. Um, no, I don't know, but we'll find out tonight. Calendar begins sometime. In 42 BC, yes, tonight is a driving park across the street from APDS. So, but I think it's somewhere around 6,000. <sighs> All right, well, I don't know. I ain't going to pretend. All right, so um, we could look that up. Somebody out there could look that up for us real quick. Um. So, Brother Case will be in. Come check out the Friday night session, and I'm quite sure you will be enticed to want to join us for the uh, weekend sessions, right? So, that's that. Um, so, we'll be in at the Driving Park Library tonight at 6. We will be starting off the uh, Committed New Year. You come out and find out about it. It's uh, another. Um, excellent opportunity for us to gather and do some celebrating as a family. You know what I'm saying? We do a lot of mourning as family. We do a lot of uh, of complaining as family. Now it's time for us to start doing some joyous gathering as family, right? Because that's really how you know you not only become family in in stressful times, you become family in celebration times as well. And as a family, we got to come together and celebrate our victory. And the victory in the committed new year is that we're making a connection to our ancient, ancient ancestors. Because um, uh, every morning we're getting up here making this toast. And I, and I, and I just found out that um, toasting is, uh, is one of our traditional things. You know what I mean? It's like I thought I was doing something new. Right, but I'm just pulling on something ancient, something old, right? Um, and hopefully bringing something back to life, you know what I'm saying? Because I honestly believe our ancestors are, are, are worthy of being toasted and remembered every day. I know some of y'all are too busy to, to remember your ancestors, but I'm gonna remember mine. Yep, it's in the 6000s. All right, so um, let's drink up our water. Come on.
So today on the show, on a lot of part of the show, we're going to talk about the next phase of the hero's journey or rites of passage. I always get back to this at least once, maybe twice, maybe three times a year because this is what I cut my teeth on, right? So we already talked about the call, right? We, caught, we talked about the separation. Now we're going to talk about the initiation family, right? A lot of us... A lot of us are not prepared for what goes down in initiation, right? Um, the separation phase is supposed to prepare us for what goes down. But um, a lot of us are missing some of, the, some of the major ingredients for this part of the hero's journey, right? Got to pull out my stuff because... My notes, I got some stuff in my notes right here, right? 21 Day Inclusive Cyber Challenge, right? Because, and I need to pull out the African Opens to the Tree of Life so that we can really go and have a, a powerful discussion about the whole aspect of the initiation aspect of the hero's journey or what we call rites of passage, right? Because, yeah, it's, it's going down today, y'all. Sixteen ounces. Twenty-four ounces. I'm gonna take this golden root. Once again, I'm not noticing a lot of the effects. So I don't know. I, I and and that's always been a problem with me, right? It's very few things that I really notice the effects. Now I'll tell you one thing that I did notice the effects on one time. Uh, my dude Jay, who used to work over at Sunflower Herbs, um, I had a punch bag in my house, and right, I think, right here on my knuckle, y'all see that right there on my knuckle, my um, on my left hand, on in between my first two knuckles, I, I developed a wart. And I went to the health food store and I said, Jay, man, what's going on here? Jay looked at it. He said, oh, you need some olive leaf. So I bought some olive leaf. He said, by the time you get done with this bottle, the thing going to fall off. So uh, I start taking the bottle of the olive leaf. And the olive leaf literally dried the wart off and the damn thing fell off in less than 30 days. That was one of the only things that... Um, I have ever tried that really worked for me. Now, Jay also, he the one that got me on rhodiola years ago. He was talking about rhodiola before it became real popular. So I decided I would give it a try because I, I no longer could find Jay. I think he's doing real estate or something now. But he was um, excellent. He went from, he stayed over at um, Sunflower for, um, I mean, he was over there for years until they closed. And then he went over to Raisin Rack, and he was um, doing, helping him do some stuff over there. Um, real cool dude, you know. So, shouts out to Jack. All right, 24. Mm. You know, Facebook, you know it would be helpful? You put a timer on here so an individual know how much time they've been on the air, right? So here we go. Last one, 32 ounces. for the toast we are going to I want y'all to hear it see if it's going to do anything yeah 
Death Eater really lets me down. Alright. So. I'm going to ask you. Ooh, that little skull be trying to come out. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Well, I know, do know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to eat it. But I don't want to drink it this morning. But I will grind it up. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to put that in my, um, put that in my smoothie. Mm-hmm. Yep, you can put scobies in your own smoothie, y'all. It's called a probiotic, a super probiotic. Yep. So, now for those who want to order ambrosia, right, and in these hot seasons, because it's kind of rough for me to send it out until I figure out a method, because I think I came up with a, another method to send them out. But it's going to be a little bit more expensive, because what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get some dry ice. I'm going to go and buy one of those... Um, styrofoam coolers I'm going to have to wrap that up and take it and ship on um, ship between um, Emoja and Emoja and Ujima I have to ship I have to ship on in between those days Emoja Kuchaglia or Ujima that's the only days I can ship because FedEx only it only does uh, deliveries of Moja through Nia. So, anywhere in the country, I can guarantee it'll be there in three days. And I think that the um, dry ice will make it possible for me to ship uh, Ambrosia anywhere in the country. About to use the dry ice, but I got to figure out how to package it so that the bottles don't cling up and stuff like that. But you know that ain't nothing but that ain't nothing but a science project, and I ain't nothing but a scientist, right? So let's get this toast on, right? I got a scoby sitting right up in here. You probably can see it floating up on top of there. That's a that's that's a live culture, right? You know something that can teach us a lesson about forming culture, right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna stress the lesson here. The scoby will form on the top of. Um, the 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 tea and the honey, or the tea and the sugar, right, and seal off all other bacteria and yeast that does not belong in, right. It will not allow any outside bacterial yeast to interfere with its process. It governs its own, right, and it builds its own and. And for every new bacteria and yeast that is born, it becomes part of the culture and it receives a portion of the tea and the honey. Now, the only time that something could get in is when the scoby is unhealthy. When the scoby is unhealthy, then other bacteria and yeast could get in. And that's when your scoby starts looking all funny and it starts developing other cultures on there. You can see it, right? You can see the interference. And you have to take that scope and you have to get rid of the whole thing. And you have to get rid of all of the ambrosia that was with it. All of the tea that was with it. Because it all has been compromised. So as long as the culture stays healthy, the ambrosia stay healthy. So as long as the culture stay healthy, the product of the culture stay healthy. Do you understand? Right? But when the culture is not healthy... The symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast is not healthy. The product is not healthy. As long as the borders of the culture are secure, then the product will be healthy. So, I mean, it's incredible the stuff you can learn from just these little microorganisms that we usually would discount. Because, you know, we ain't got nothing to learn from. But our answers say, our answers say, as above, so below. And as below, so above. So I could look above me and I could see how the universe works. And I could look below me and see how the universe works. And I could see whether I am acting appropriately. Especially culturally appropriately, right? 
So, this is Brother High Tim. I'm lifting up my glass and I'm saluting the Creator by whatever name you choose to call this Creator. Uh, we thank the Creator for the wisdom that has been laid out for us. We thank the Creator for uh, for the very breath that flows through us. We know that the Creator is always present with us, but we know that it's part of our tradition to call this Creator and ask the Creator be amongst us at all times. So we lift up our glass and we say, I say, from there we move to our personal ancestors. We lift up our ancestors. We toast our ancestors. We lift our glass and get off our ass and we salute our ancestors on a daily basis for some of us, right? Every day we lift up our glass and we remember those individuals that made it possible for us to be us. We remember those individuals that ingrained certain things in our minds. We remember those individuals that taught us things. We remember those individuals that took time with us. We remember those individuals who helped us become who we are. We remember those individuals who blessed us. Right? We remember those individuals that prayed for us. We remember those individuals that lifted us up when we fell down. We remember those individuals that taught us how to ride bikes. We remember those individuals that cooked us cookies. We remember those individuals who who continuously, who continuously reminded us about who we are and what we could accomplish. We lift up our glass and we toast them. And I'm going to go down my family line and I suggest that you go down your family line. If you don't know your family line, this is your opportunity. Today is your opportunity to get up and go find some of your ancestors. We toast. Um, and I'll start with Miles Brown, Mizan, Robert the Texan, the Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, William Walton, Chris, and Fanny Gatson, <laughs> Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, um, um, uh, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Avar Brown, Katie Ellis. Barbara Twigs, Herman Brown Sr., Wash Ellis Jr., No More X, Sapat Ma Ra, Elder Hairston, Elder Farmer, Elder, Elder Donaldson, Elder Millie Dixon, um, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Fillard, Montague Pittman L, um, Terrell Dunbar, Dr. Marianne Williams, Pastor Yousef Weston, um, Tony Clark. Kojo Kamal, Mark Walsh. That's all I can think of right now. We lift up our glass and we say, that's right, I say. From there we move to this moment. Today is Ujima. And let me pull out the cheat sheet. You know I got to have the cheat sheet, right? Keep me on point. I guess it really ain't cheating if it serves a purpose, right? But, you know, we went to the education, you know, you ain't allowed to have notes. You're supposed to be able to do everything from the top of my head, but hell with that, right? All right, here we go. Um, thanks for sharing, Brother Kwame. Uh, Ujima, today is Ujima. We are on, it's cooperative economics, for those that don't know. Um, the myotic principle, at least in the way that I learned it years ago, today is reciprocity, is the day of reciprocity. Um... In the Millennium Seven, it is gratitude. Um, in the Hermetic Laws, it's polarity. Um, the female, the male name for a person born on today is Yao, and the female is Ya. Now, this is um, Ujima is a very unique day because um, out of all the male and female names, out of all, I mean, out of all of the male and female names for the days, right, for the days, the, uh, this is the only one that start with a Y, right, and we kind of went into why that is, 
when we discuss the day names, right? So you have to go back and check out the timeline when we talked about the day names and we talked about Ujima, right? So, um, this is a very powerful day right now. Also, on the emotional emancipation circles, today will be one, two, three, four. So in Wolof, it will be your Monday compassion for those less fortunate than ourselves um, a con ethics patience ooh dang we talking about initiation today um, traditional Yoruba it will be emoji mora sensitivity uh oh yeah, this going this going to fit perfectly. So, we lift up our glass for today for this moment, for this time because it's within this moment all of our power lies past it's gone, future don't exist. The only thing we have is this moment and in this moment we uplift the past and we make all things possible in the future, right? In this moment. So don't let it pass. Don't let it, don't waste it. You lift up that glass and we say, I say. Last but not least, no, it ain't, no, this is not last. We toast our children, our children's children unto infinity. We remember them so that we remember them now so they can remember us in the future. So we lift up our glass, right? Everything we think, say, and do affects them. So we need to take responsibility for that. We toast them. We say, I say. Last but not least, I toast you. Any of the issues that you would like us to cover, feel free to post them up. Um, if I don't get it today, I always check the timeline. I come back or it alerts me, and I will lift up your concerns and toast. And we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. I say to you, peace, power, joy, and 100 years. That theater is good. I wonder if the next batch is going to come out like this. Because I'm doing another batch of this. Mm, mm, mm. Lord have mercy. Alright, so I'm going to mix this in. And and the reason I'm, I'm sucking on my lips like that is that it's tangy. Right? That that is not sweet but it's not quite sour that this it just make you wanna man plus I got big lips I I like them all right so I'm gonna mix it in the scoby oh the scoby oh oh it's not trying to come out look at that get your butt out of there all right there we go so I'm mixing the scoby into my little smoothie. I got spinach. Y'all saw me put some blueberries in there. I have, uh, I'm using Private Selection Classic Fruit Mel Melody, strawberries, mangoes, super sweet pineapple, freestone peach, and red grapes. I should drop a little cherry juice in here, a little bit of cherry. But nah, I ain't gonna do that. Well, for some reason, the top don't want to go on. And this blender, what's going on here? Oh man, look like my cup is broke. I'm sad. The rubber, the rubber band is not acting right, and we know that we need the rubber band to act right, because the rubber band holds the juice inside, family. So if your rubber band ain't acting right, we might need a new cup. So get it right. Well, God damn. Yeah, man. Oh, 
the rubber band. Oh man, the rubber band came off of the inside of this. Oh man, we might have to reschedule the, the blending of the blending of the juice. One love, fam. Catch you tonight at the new year. Yeah, I catch you tonight. So I'm gonna blend this up, and I'm out. I thought I was going to blend it up. God damn it.